Hi everyone, thank you so much for taking an interest in watching this vlog today. Today I'm going to be talking about Oreo. Oreo is a Pomeranian and Oreo is my most recent commission piece for somebody. Oreo is still alive, the real dog is still alive, but the pet owner wants me to recreate Oreo just in case or you know if Oreo passed away, they have a little piece of Oreo for them. Oreo's custom piece is actually an urn. The body of this dog sculpture is actually a container. If you look back in my channel and watch the actual sculpting process of this sculpture, you will see how I created the urn, the container inside. I got a little ambitious on creating his urn. And in the beginning, I, my, my first intention was to completely hide the lid put the lid somewhere in the body and completely hide it but with this type of dog breed I found out later as I was creating it it's so hard to to hide it it's either I put the lid underneath the buttock so it's completely hidden or somewhere on the body that's completely gonna hide it I told the pet owner that this is happening I got too ambitious with the lid and now I'm, I'm not able to hide the lid and of course they're very appreciative and they're very accepting because it's still an urn it's still a custom piece with an urn it's just I kind of improvise which I like to do I like to improvise I just created the lid like that I put my little stamp on there so you can kind of uh, when you remove it that's where the hole and that's where the pet owner will put the the ashes in and then when they cover it they can either put glue some non-permanent glue so that in case they want to remove the ashes out they can do so without damaging the whole thing or without cracking the whole thing and that's the lid that's a 3d printed lid 3d printing any pieces could help us a lot, especially with the cost. So I'm able to charge clients lower costs because of the efficiency and the materials that we use. I realized that sculpting a Pomeranian dog is actually difficult. Not because of the techniques. It, the, the face is very simple. The face, the structure is very simple to sculpt is actually the shape it's actually the whole the whole piece in real life a pomeranian is very fluffy but when it translates to sculpture it's also this big creating this for the first time i just couldn't gauge how thick of the armature inside i should create i've redo some parts several times with this piece and also, when I was baking it, it had some cracks on the side, which is fine, which is fine. It's part of the process. So with this one, I also created a separate video, an actual tutorial on teaching you how to fix cracks. And that's, the, that's a perfect situation right there. And that video will be released next Friday, so watch for it. This little dog tag right here was 3D printed and then I painted it on top. I was going to ask the pet owner if they want to put the actual dog tag on there, but obviously the dog is still alive. So the dog is still using the dog tag, so they can't. But eventually if they decide, if, if the dog pass away and they decide to use the actual dog tag on there, you can just swap him out painting also painting this pomeranian is very different from the usual dog sculptures that i've created from the past because if you look at the back especially if there's two very different fur color shown there it's like black and white how can you distinguish the color between black and white so it really requires some really solid colors really distinguishable colors that separates the black and white. I have to go by the actual texture of the sculpture and paint those with the actual color of the fur. For some of you who have not uh, seen or this is the first time you're hearing about this, I wrote books. They were basically created from scratch by me. 
So this one, DIY Realistic Dog Sculptures, I wrote my own process on how to create my own pet sculptures. And obviously, if you like what you see and you, you really want to learn this, get this book. Get this book and watch my videos. You will definitely learn this. You can email me, you can message me if you have any questions. Several people already have gotten my book and I got great feedback. I got great feedback from them and they really think it's it's very thorough. I like to be very thorough with my process and obviously with my videos, there's a lot of talking if I don't really explain the reasons behind each step it's hard to really grasp and remember why we do things in the first place. So I understand, you know, the instant gratification that people get from start the video right away, start school things, start, do it. Like, no, t take it easy, take it easy. We gotta talk, we gotta explain why we're doing things. Please don't forget to watch my family-friendly YouTube show. It's called The Doggo Bake Show every Friday. You and your family will definitely enjoy them. I talk to dogs and they talk back. They have their personalities. It's very short. I mean, it's a homemade video. It's nothing like a huge production thing, but it's my own little show that I create for you. I produce everything in the show including the music so if you like it then uh, I'm glad you enjoy it. And I would like to thank all the people who helped me out with voiceovers for these dogs. They came to life with the voices so thank you so much. So that's it. I'll see you again next Friday for another dog.